The CDC reports that people with diabetes are more susceptible to many other illnesses. Jennifer Ferguson, physician assistant at Lake Ear, Nose, Throat, and Facial Plastic Surgery, explains how even something as simple as a mild ear infection can turn serious for diabetics. Being a diabetic patient can actually cause um, problems with their healing. Generally, if you know their sugars are a little high, that can actually cause delay in healing. So when we have an ear infection or any other type of infection, it can actually be um, more hard to actually treat. It can take longer, they can have more serious ear infections where it actually can spread to the bone and they may need IV antibiotics. So we always encourage any of our diabetic patients if they think that they have an earache or an ear infection to have treated right away. If you have a Q-tip and you're a diabetic and you actually scratch your ear canal and that causes a break in the barrier of the skin, you can get an ear infection that way or you can cause serious bleeding. So with that, you would have to get treated right away. I see numerous diabetics who have used Q-tips to scratch their ear or you know, anything else, the end of a pen or um, a paper clip and they've had a serious ear infection where some of them have actually progressed to having IV antibiotics because they are such a nasty infection and they have delay in healing being a diabetic. Q-tips cause so many problems. For adults, you know, everybody thinks that it's actually used to clean their ears and get all that wax out because it's bad. Wax is actually good um, and it should be in their ear a little bit. Some people do overproduce it and do have to get it taken out, but they should just use a wet washcloth and have it right there on the outside. There ear canal. For more information on this story as well as links to the specialist at Lake e t please click the Diabetic Infection Story link on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.